But anyway, speaking of Falco, um, as you guys know, I'm not the biggest believer in Falco, but let's see if Bang's gonna be able to do something because Falco always does crazy, amazing, cool-looking combos, but he ha struggles to get the KO. And funny enough, he's fighting Wario, one of the heavier or more heavy characters in the game that also has a walk to be able to KO Falco, especially Falco since he's one of the lightest characters in the game at like 30, maybe even 25%. So I want to see what's going to happen here. I feel like the lead's going to start off with Falco, and then who knows what's going to happen. Have you have you played this one a lot with Tweak? Um, yeah. What does he usually go against you? Um, back when me and Tweak lived together, he okay. never play Wario. Then he went Wario and won a national, which is Frostbite. He never went Wario. And when he did go Wario the very, very few times, like two months before he went Wario at Frostbite, yep. Um, or I think it was um, some other tournament we beat Nairo. But before he went it, uh, we told him that we think it's his best character. So I'm happy he brought it back. All right, and Falco does have a little bit of the lead so far. Let's see what happens. Pretty sure Wario can eat those lasers, by the way. Oh, yeah. I think in the matchup, yeah, for sure. Here we go, though. Like you said, Bang starting off with a Bang. A lot of damage, a lot of good uh, combos coming out here. All right. What the? Camera, move down. Oh, yeah, because of the bike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the bike's messing it up. Yeah, it's not saying, uh, come on, man. I got to look at the match. It's always weird fighting characters like that because they mess up how things look on the screen. But yeah. right now, Ismon having a little bit of trouble. Yeah, but like you said, it's kind of it's part of the course. Like, now you're Wario with Rage, and this is where you kill Falco. Like, this is almost an even game in terms of, like, how close they are to dying to a strong yeah. hit. Un unfortunate thing, though, is, like, for Wario, he'd have to go for a very strong read right now yeah. to be able to get that KO. So, But it won't be too hard to get more damage on Falco. However, you got to watch out how you recover. Yeah, Falco has a lot of strong aerials. Looking for the down smash. Can't find it. All right, Falco does have Wario at 140%. Okay. Forward air. Got to watch out how he recovers. That should be it. Yes. Is that a confirm right there? Yes. If you can do side B um, onto the stage, especially if you do side B and hit with the later part of side B, you can follow up a lot of times into a full hop back air, a double jump back air, a double jump up air. Got it. Clean. Ooh, Ooh the, okay. the drag bang. down. Bang. That's the Keitaro right there. All right. Should he live? Okay, he's doing fantastic with his combos right now. We do have to remember that Wario has to use his walk. But Ismon is struggling quite a bit at the moment. Should well, I be dead? Oh. I feel like in this matchup, too, like with Wario, they both kind of have the same goals. Like, they want to fight each other in the air a lot, and I feel like Falco just has more reach, especially with the fair and the nair. And look at the way that uh, Bang is just retreating away from Ismon. He's playing correctly with the lead and just not interacting with Wario. Oh, super correct with the lead. But right now, going off stage, can we get that there? Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, it is. okay. No tech. I, I don't think that was untackable either. It didn't really, like, it's hard to tell though. Yeah, it could be hard to tech um, those multi moves, and that was a sudden back air that he got the hit. Yeah, the old shotgun back. Oh, okay. Wow. So he had his jump. Okay, he made it back. I was like, he might have to blow the waff here or do something. I think uh, it's hard to say in that case. Yeah, I don't know if I would want to use the waff because oh, because of that. Oh Because no. of exactly that. Cooked chicken. That's what's for dinner? I'm what? not eating that chicken though. What happened? You got Falco, it, bro. Falco loses, <laughs> Oh, are you surprised, oh, no. Kitaro? That's that's unfortunate. That was really early. That was almost, I think, exactly like the 25% thing I was talking about. Yeah. It looked like he had a huge lead, then he lost it, and now the struggle part. He doesn't have much rage, and he's gonna have to try to get this KO on Wario, and it's gonna be really hard. You can't oh, just swing on attack. Well, that and look how well that Ismon is using the Smashville platform to extend his combos. This is just amazing play. This is a whole turnaround, Kitaro. Yeah, man. Wario players are different, dude. I'm I'm not shocked at all. He was losing by so much. Yeah. Well, well he had walked, then, actually, so. He was losing by so much, and then Falco lost, and he almost got two stops. Is he about to get two stops? That was a clean down smash read right there, getting that regular get up. Very scary, though, because if he missed that, he might have been back thrown to KO. Yeah. And Bang has a big opportunity here, because he does have Rage, fighting against Wario, who doesn't quite have a, he's working on a half walk, I think, around this time, so. But look at that, 50% already. I Good. love the combos he's doing. That's 50% off the bat, like you said. I can't believe he just did that side B. Oh my god, again. I mean, if, if Isbon shields these, it could be a big, big problem for Bang. Yeah, he probably won't be able to get much of a KO option yeah. off of shielding the side B. And I do like that he went for that because, again, it's really hard to get the KO. The F smash is very strong. Let's back here. Okay. Look for oh. another forward smash. He's looking for a lot of those. That back here is certainly going to do it on Smashville. Nice job by Isbon. Big comeback. I mean, Wario, no stranger to comebacks, that's for sure. All right, well, good stuff to Wario right there. Was looking very clean for a win for Bang, but unfortunately struggled to be able to avoid that walk. That's the thing about Wario. All it takes is one walk to change everything around. Imagine losing by 100%, then you get a walk combo. And then boom, you almost get a two-stop. There goes Elegant. He is here. Props to him for coming out to this tournament. I love seeing him because it causes a lot of upsets with the character that people think is low tier. Well, I feel like we're entering that 
era of uh, Smash Ultimate where people can go back to their original main, especially like Cloud, since you got the buffs. But the thing is, is like people in the, the beginning of the game were playing Smash 4 on a new engine, basically. So now that some time has gone by, we've been able to digest and learn the game, actually. Now we can go back to our Smash 4 mains if we want to and try them out and see if there's some options or something that we weren't doing in the beginning that might work now. That is true. It's true. All right, so again, the combos are looking really good for Bang. Gonna close it out. And I felt like that was one of those starts where I was shocked. I expected Ismon to do more damage. I was expecting a huge sweep from Bang. Yeah. So I was expecting something like a little closer to this, um, especially with how good Ismon is. So now he's gonna have to deal with the WAP and the fact that he's using. Dude, he, Ismon woke up. I'm like that guy in the front row. Here we go, that trade. <laughs> really good for his mind. That's the thing. If you trade with Falco, he took 1.2 there. It's a, so many multi hits in the reach back. The old up smash from Wario. Very nice job. Bang. Might be going out quick right here. Drag down. Uh -huh. Yep. He got those. Just got to go off stage at that wait, point. Wait. Yep. Oh, I'm actually surprised he went for that up. So I guess he didn't know that Wario's going to go off the stage. Yeah. Just hold your ground there. All right. Good DI coming out from his mind. I love seeing that. Oh, this guy. These, these Ooh, guys. Falco okay. Combos are, are fire. Ridiculous. Yeah. Yes. I like this a lot. And what looked like a disaster in the beginning, now looking pretty close. He's got to take the stock first, of course, which is the toughest part against Wario with Falco. Hold on. Whoa, he crossed him up. Did you see the instant turnaround? Not only was that the closer blast zone, but he got the wrong DI on it. Amazing job by Bang, silencing the crowd. God. This is a really good Falco. This is a great Falco. <laughs> up tilt into turnaround bear aimed on the left side. That was really good. And his combos are optimized. I watch a lot of other Falcos, and they'll do combos, and I'm like, what was that? Like, why did you go for that? Like, you could continue the combo. But this Falco is being very optimal of how far he can take it, especially with the forward air. Up air, up air, there we go, up air again. Nice. And got that laser in there, too, just in case. Drag down, getting it up air. Another fair. I like the mix up there, man. He's mixing it up so well in his combos. Like, not, not just in terms of, like, doing more damage or whatever, but catching bad DI. It's really nice. Does this look familiar? A little bit, yeah. I think hey, I remember when he was was that, had this huge lead, almost 100% lead, and then he got wafted. Drag down, that he's going to cross beautiful. him up again. Nice job, man. I love this play by Bang. He was down, but he's certainly not out. This is incredible. I love seeing the fact that he's able to get that forward air, even at like 100%. The drag down forward air and into that up tilt or grab. Yeah. All right, there it goes again. Couldn't get the follow up this time, but that's okay. Can't be kicking yourself too hard because here's the thing with Waft. He's either got to use it on this stock and then it's gone. And you don't have to worry about it for your final stock or that he's got to gonna hold it, you know? Those are the Falco combos. Good stuff right there to bang from mixing that up so far. Nice job rolling in. The bike being there. Kind of a distraction, but here we go. Pressure at the ledge. Looking Ooh. bang fine. Nothing is bond. It's just his foot. Oh, nothing, Kitaro. All right. Almost gets that command grab. Okay, 90%. Maybe a dash attack might be able to end it, but does not get the sweet spot. One more, does not get the sweet spot. <laughs> Maybe one more. <laughs> might as well go for it again. Wasn't getting punished for it. And I like that. He went like towards the center, so it makes it really hard to figure out which way he's going to go. Right. Again, do it again. Well, I don't know about that one. He's going to make it back, man. These recoveries are immaculate. And defending himself with the fair, that's what I'm saying. He's like the air to hold on, man. Bang might just take this one right now. Yeah, he's looking for it. Yeah, yeah. I might himself. as well. 81% with all this rage, you might as well look for it. Oh <laughs> my god, the reaction from Bang. Bing, bang, boom, game three. First game three you're seeing, Kitaro. Thank god, Bang. Yes, yes, Let's finally. get a competitive setup here. Let's go, Bang. This is a very good Falco. You like this? Are you picking him back up? Falco, 2020. Kitaro. Looking good. This, this Falco's looking really good. See, the issue about Falco is a lot of people think that he's easy to play, but getting those combos to work are is hard, especially when you're playing in the corner. Right now, this is potentially to make it out of phase one pulls and they have to face off against each other and he's getting these combos to work out really well that drag down fair into up tilt into reverse bear that was a fantastic move right there and that was started at like 80 percent so the struggle part for falco is he has a lot of trouble getting the ko but he's able to get it off of that fair and we don't see almost any falco use that that often so let's see what happens big stage though more room for ismond to play around and kind of wait it out man because that's the thing with wario if you're not hitting him you're technically losing a tiny bit just because he's building up the WAP naturally. Okay. Guess that damage. Yep. We did it, see. He fell out of the up tilt. Does that happen a lot? Um, it can happen sometimes. It's pretty rare though. Like even if they fall out the up tilt, you can a lot of times just spam up tilt again. And it's <laughs> it. <laughs> the brain of a Falco man. Yeah, the bird brain. And then it'll be even better because they might have been out of the range for you to follow up after the up tilt with another up tilt. But since they fell out the first one and they still got hit, you hit them with the second one. 
That was such a risky double jump there. I mean, Falco's recovery is really good when he has his double jump. I think it's the second highest in the game. Oh, yes. It, I thought it was highest. That or Greninja. It's one of those two. Yeah. Either way. Oh, look for that back air. Look for that back air. Got to watch out. Be safe. That up smash won't be able to KO even if he lands on it, though. He used to give him a little bit more damage. Very smart. He actually did that by using the lasers. Yeah, I was going to say I love how he's going to the gun a little bit. You got to shoot the ball. Keep, keep Ismon away. He, he picked this stage. This is his counter pick. The back air sour spot, though, unfortunate for Bang. Pressure at the ledge. Nope. Ismon just rolling by the danger. This guy just loves going for those KO options. Like, that's yep. all he's going for right now. I don't blame him, though. 126. But the thing is, Ismon is seeing this, and he's realizing, I just got to wait for his KO option, and then I punish. There you go. There you go. Oh, no. Oh, that is enormous. It might just look like a whipped attack, but that was a lot of time and a lot of effort spent away on a WAF that did not connect. That was enormous for yep. Bang. Let's see what he can do with it. Down there. Done. Whoa, he actually lived. Okay. Lived again. Down there again. Ooh. Oh, he delayed it. Did you see the way he pulled back just a little bit? Yep. That was really nice by Bang. Dang, Bang. I Bang. can't believe he's living right now. Bang has went for like 10 KO attacks, maybe 20 at this point. Aggressive with the fair. Uh, yep, he's good. Yeah, the vertical recovery of up B is ridiculous. It makes no sense. You will snap the ledge so hard. Oh, the magnet him. hands? Yep. What? Speaking of just swinging with KO moves, Isman with a forward smash for no reason. But we did just see Falco go for all those KO options, was struggling to get that KO. He had Wario KO percent for a long time. However, yeah. Falco being a really good character at these roll percents will be able to do a lot of damage. And he did see Isman go for that WAF, but Loki, it doesn't matter because he did it on the first stock and it took so long for that first stock to go away that he's gonna get another WAF. There's even a chance he can get two, two WAFs in the rest of the game. Right. Ooh, that was a mess up right there. It looked like he tried to go for up tilt. Feel each other out in the neutral. That's the thing with this long stage though. Even if you're shooting lasers and you're getting minimal damage, I feel like Isman's gonna be okay with that trade because yeah, he's gonna be building WAF. Man, he's throwing them all out. Because he knows on this stage he's going to get to build at least one more half waft. At least. Yeah, that was a weird waft right there, though. Because he could have waited a little bit longer before using it. So, and honestly, it's like he wasted two wafts so far. But, again, he might be able to get another one considering he only has 20%. And he's fighting Falco. Right. So, it's going to be a while before he gets KO'd. And if he keeps playing in this manner where Falco can't approach. Because, literally, when Falco, when you run from Falco, you run so slow, you can't really do anything. If you stay this yeah. distance away from him, he cannot approach you. Just keep backing up. Look, back up, boom. What's Falco gonna do? You literally have to approach. He's chilling right now. Fair looking to call it the jump of the nair. Can't find anything. Well, these guys slowing down the action a lot too. Want to be very delicate with this uh, second stock. It's gonna mean so much to have the stock lead coming around to, uh, at the end of this game three. All right, that's the thing though. Once you get hit by Falco, sometimes it's like being trapped in a tornado. Oh boy. Just can't get out. A back air? Ooh. Wasn't able to come out with it fast enough. But back here again, not going to KO, though. Look at this, dude. The, the percentage gap is closed immediately. Oh, okay. All right, that was scary. All right, what? Gets that clean back here read right there. What the heck? Up by Bang. And we have Waff coming out again. What? Crowd coming oh, to life. Oh, no. Bang versus oh, Isman. No. Game three. Drag last down. stock. Down throw. It's Drag down. Beat. Up throw. Oh, up tilt, up tilt, up air. Up air again. Oh, okay. no, wasn't able to follow up. I like that he went for the fair there. He got 46%, tried to go for a little extra credit. Okay, smooth movement there. All right, this is looking really good for Falco. However, remember right Falco now. does struggle yeah. to get the KOs. We saw him go for so many KO options, wasn't able to get them. And right now we only have 0% on Falco, but Wario does have full waft, and I love that. Those lasers from across the stage. Okay. Both of them are going to play so carefully. I mean, if Isman gets caught by an up tilt, it could be the stock at the very least is going off stage. Uh -oh. If Bang gets caught by an aerial, he could just lose his stock straight up. Uh-oh. Out of the wire here, Kentaro. Oh, no. fried chicken? <laughs> you want to know how they make fried chicken? First, oh. you start with a neutral air. <gasps> Hold then on. Then an up air, and then another up air, then an up tilt. And so, oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> the full waft just came online mid-combo. That is insane. Isman able to find it, but he just get that pesky last hit of the fair. So deceptive. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, no. Clean. Is oh, high? my God. He goes off the top all the way up. The bird has wings up there to KO Isman. That is an upset for sure. Bang. Making a bang on the scene. Amazing stuff to him, dude. He was down big time, too, in that game three. He had to make a huge comeback in that second stock, and that is how you play. Pump the brakes. Shoot the laser a little bit. Wait for the right opportunity to get your combos. Rack up about 50% and one up tilt. That's Falco. That was a clean catch right there.